Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. A lot of people ask me, what's the difference between a Divi child theme and a Divi layout or a layout pack? And there are some important differences that you should understand, especially if you're purchasing one from us or from another vendor. So I'm going to go through that. It's, uh, it's not going to get too long or anything like that, but I want to really explain to you what the difference is and what you're going to be looking for when you're looking at these Divi child themes and layouts. All right, well, let's get started. I'm going to show you all the differences and the pros and cons of each. One of the questions I get a lot is how to choose between one of our Divi child themes and a Divi layout pack because we offer both of them for sale. We have premium ones and we also have free ones of each. And I know that can be confusing and I wanna answer that. And I'm gonna answer that mostly for my customers, but this is going to apply in general across the Divi community. So, you know, we're comparing Divi child themes to layout packs. Sometimes we look at them and we think, you know, these look really similar. What's the difference? Why is one maybe one is priced a little differently. Um, in fact, that's pretty common for child themes to be a little more expensive than just a layout pack. And, and you might say again, like this looks the same, you know, what's, what's the difference? And as you know, Elegant Themes releases some free layout packs, I think every week. And, you know, you might say, well, why would I pay for something when they have free ones? And there's a whole lot more to that. But in general, you know, we're going to cover that in this tutorial here. Not really a tutorial, just more of a guide. Like, what is the difference and who should be using what? Like, what's a good thing for you to use? I'm going to hopefully answer that in a pretty clear way and make it easy for you. Um, in fact, I gave a little summary here ahead of time. But, you know, if you're an experienced developer or designer, you want the flexibility to customize any particular part of your Divi website or you just like feeling like um, you want to take that professional step and get a child theme. Um, I recommend child themes for that. And if you're a business owner or blogger and you don't really know what a child theme is, sometimes it's like if you have to ask the question, well, then maybe you don't need one, that type of thing. Um, but we're going to give, we're going to break it down a little more. So what is a child theme? Well, you may notice the word child theme. It's implying that there's a parent. And so... In a Divi child theme, any Divi child theme, it's relying on the parent, which is Divi. So the Divi child theme and Divi parent theme work together lots of times, and together they can provide the functionality and options you know that that the designer, um, the product creator, is looking to produce for the end user. And so basically, you know. Think of Divi as the parent theme that has the main functionality. It has the Divi builder. You know, it has most of the page structure and things like that all built into it. But then if you want additional features or modifications and customization, things like that, the child theme adds on to that. And in WordPress, it kind of is like a hierarchy of um, bottom to top, you might say, because um, like, in a child theme, if you have code, it's going to read that. Like if you have code overriding the Divi theme, it's going to read the child themes. Or if the Divi theme, you know, the Divi theme is going to be overriding WordPress core. So I know that can be confusing, but just think of it as, you know, the child theme can have, it could even have a copy of some files that were in Divi and you may change a couple little things and the child theme is going to take priority. Um, so a, a child theme enables the designer to overwrite those original Divi theme styles and things like that, the structure. And also it's really important to note that a child theme will, will keep those changes even if Divi updates. So as we know, Divi updates quite frequently. And if you were to make, like if you were to go, I wanted to customize the blog module or something, and I would go in there to the Divi theme and customize it, well, guess what? Next week, it's going to totally be lost, uh, totally gone. Um, but in a child theme, you, you it saves. There's no loss. So that's one of the main reasons you should be using a child theme. Um, and we're going to get into more reasons and stuff. But So 
I guess it's important to note, like when we're thinking about child themes versus a layout pack, well, a child theme could be blank. In fact, we have a free one that you can download, but also don't forget like the child theme usually contains layouts. The child theme contains, it could be, you know, it could a home page, about page. I mean, it could be 20 different page layouts and blog posts and theme builder templates and footers and headers and all that stuff. So it's not like we're saying a child theme is one thing and a layout is another, but it's almost like a child theme is additional to a layout pack because you're going to be getting things like um, the, the menu, um, widgets, sidebar, anything like that goes beyond like just the page layout itself is going to be where child theme comes in and then of course with the customizations. All right, let's keep going. When should you use a child theme? And I say here, if you are serious, and I'm serious about that. If if you're serious about your website, then use a child theme. Um, in my opinion, everyone should be using one. And I know that could be daunting and if you're just not familiar with code, but um, you know, you can reach out to me if you have more questions on that, but I just really personally do think everyone should be using a child theme, even if it's just a bare bones minimum one or our free one. And the next reason when you should use a child theme, if you want to customize anything and you know, you can edit anything in, in Divi and WordPress with, with certain codes like CSS, obviously that's a big one. Um, PHP, HTML even, and jQuery and JavaScript. So a child theme is going to allow you to do that. You know, otherwise you can't really edit those very well in a layout. You could put some things in a code module, but that's kind of inefficient and it's not even the proper way to do that. But um, you could, but a child theme allows you to do any sort of customization like this. So even if you have just CSS, you need a child theme. You don't need a child theme, but it's good to have a child theme. There's very good reasons why you should. And and if you want awesome features, and I'm kind of thinking more of like a paid child theme where it already has features built in using some of those codes. So like, you know, like for example, our child themes come with a one-click installer. Um, that's I think that's a really awesome feature. Or maybe you want like some kind of customization to a module, a Divi module. For example, I'm going to show you our Divi paving child theme here, the gallery. So you see how we have this gallery of the big image and then the four. Um, pretty happy with that. But what would happen here out of the box, this image here and this one down here would be blurry because it would be coming in at this size. So Divi is coming in, Divi is, is putting the image in at a certain size. And that's in the like the core structure. That's not like a CSS thing. That's like the core PHP. So in our child theme, we're overriding that because, you know, if you would take that out, this picture would be blurry. And this one. So that's an example of how we're overriding something and an advantage of a feature in a child theme. Another one is if you want to make money. And um, of course, making money is not automatic, but let's say you want to like get a certain niche of your web design projects. You could, you could buy up some, I mean, you could buy a Divi paving child theme. I mean, you know, if you wanted to like go after all the paving contractors, you know, there's like 30 in my local town. So there's tons of them. Um, that's, you know, just an example. You could like, you could have them buy it from me once install it on a client's website and of course I'm asking you to please customize it make it their brand you know don't make them all the same cookie cutter that's but a template like that is a is an incredible place to start so you can make money and it also saves money I don't know if I said that did I say I don't know like it saves time I think I said that on the layout but you know installing a child theme is going to save you tons of time. I think when I made the Divi paving layout pack, it took me like 104 hours to create. Yeah, that's like three or four weeks. So think about that. <laughs> um, here's just some links. Download our free blank Divi child theme and you can go shop our premium child themes. Um, 
So what is a Divi layout or layout pack? So in comparison to what we just talked about, now we're sort of switching, what's a layout or layout pack? Well, I mean, again, a layout is, is the page. It's this, it's the content on the page, you know, it's made out of sections, columns, rows, modules, and things like that, all the elements. And a lot of times it's certain fonts installed for the headers, certain colors, you know, the line height and just all that stuff you can, you can have in the layout, but the layout is, does not include things like the, the menu, um, you know, widgets, the footers, the headers, the template type stuff. All right. So the layout is just the layout and you customize all of that in the Divi builder itself. And so like, for example, you can add CSS in the advanced tab of the modules, you know, or your rows or columns and things, but, and, and you could use a code module, but you're very limited. You're very limited you, to, to what you can do in a layout like that with CSS. In fact, like the layouts from Elegant Themes, they don't have CSS in them. That's why they're so, um, I don't know, limited, I guess you could say. But yeah, I guess a layout pack really doesn't have a very good definition. A layout pack. I mean, a layout, we know what a layout is. But a layout pack is, in my terms, just, that's, I just use that term to refer to a collection of layouts that come in a package. Similar to how our child themes do. So remember, our child themes include the layouts, but they include a lot more. So when should you use a Divi layout or layout pack? Well, I say if you want to save time. And the reason I say that is like you think about the free ones that come with Divi, you can just be working there. And sometimes I'll be working and I'll just click, you know, oh, I need, I just need to like get something on the page. So I'll install like one that I think, oh yeah, this one's kind of the way I'm going in the design style and I'll install that. And then it's funny, it, it's funny how like when I'm done, you're usually like, wait, I don't even, there's no way you could tell that that was that same layout. And that's what I recommend doing. You don't, you know, don't be cookie cutter, customize it the way you want, but sometimes it does help you just to get something on the page. So in that way I say they save time. Another reason when you should be using a Divi layout or a layout pack is if you already have a child theme, I hope that makes sense. So like the child theme is, a set of code, it's like the CSS and the functions file, it's PHP and all that, where you can put extra code, JavaScript and all that stuff. But if you already have that, you don't want to install a new child theme because a, you can't have multiple child themes, you can only have one child theme at a time. And if you installed a different child theme, it's just like switching themes, the other one goes off. So what, what I'm saying is now you could you could combine them if if you were if you were knowledgeable with code, um, but I'm saying like if you already have a child theme that you like, but you really like the design of something, then you could buy a layout pack like our Divi Paving Layout Pack instead of the child theme, and you could install that and you'd be fine because it's not a theme, you know, it's a collection of layouts. So that's a really good use case. It's probably the best use case to be honest. Um, if you already have a child theme. And then um, when should you use a Divi layout or layout pack is if you don't need any customization. Um, yeah, if you're not using CSS code and you know, the layout packs are fine and I don't think that this even happens much. I don't think it should happen. I mean, I realize if you're a de if you're not a designer, you're just a business owner, you're trying to get your website up quick and you just want it to work. That's fine. You can use a layout or layout pack, but you got to think about, you got to think about long-term value is, you know, hire a designer, hire someone who's a professional and get more value out of your website. Don't just throw it up. But I think if that's where you're at, um, a layout pack or a layout is going to be okay. So, and you can actually download some of our free ones, free layout packs, or you can shop our premium layout packs. And if you have questions, you know, feel free to let them down below. I'll try to reply to them here on YouTube or over on the blog or in our Facebook group. All right, so I hope that's been helpful. Hopefully now you can have a little more clarity on, you know, a child theme versus a layout or layout pack. And be sure to ask me questions. You know, I get a lot of emails asking this question. And there's always certain cases where one is going to be, um, 
better than another and it may not be obvious you, you may be some different situations or different code and it's always best to ask and that's fine if you want to do that but hopefully this video was valuable to you and helps as a good guide overall all right well we'll see you guys in the next video